In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took a skirt that's way too small for me and I turned it into a skirt that is way more comfortable and fits me beautifully. So let me show you how I did that. Hello everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, I thrifted this beautiful pleated gray skirt. It's gonna be the cornerstone of my fall wardrobe, but slight problem, it doesn't fit my waist at all. It's also ginormously long on me. The extra length is actually what's going to help me to make that waist fit. There are a couple of different things that make this skirt perfect for this project. The first is that it is a flare or an A-line skirt. And anytime you've got an A-line skirt, if the waist doesn't fit, then right below the waist might just fit you perfectly. You might have to go down two, three, four inches, but at some point in that flare, it's gonna fit your waist. The second thing that makes this skirt perfect for this project is that it is too long for me. I think I'd want it about four inches shorter. And when I hike it up four inches, then it fits me just fine at the waist. So one problem helps solve the other. And a pleated skirt like this would not be easy to hem from the bottom. Turning up a hem on all those pleats, that's not gonna be a fun day. By shortening it from the top and killing two birds with one stone, yeah, that will work just fine. I'm gonna be just cutting off that waistband, removing the zipper, replacing it with an elastic waist that's gonna be way more comfortable and it's going to help take up some of that extra length. So if that all sounds good to you, let's get busy. What I wanna do is cut the skirt four inches below the waistband with my little scrap of soap and my sewing gauge set for four inches. I'll just mark along and cut right through the zipper and I'm making sure to start and stop with a right angle. Now I'll just use my seam ripper to get rid of the rest of this little zipper and then I'll just take this to my machine and sew that little bit closed. Okay, so that seam is closed up and now I'm ready to do the top. So I have a package of woven non-roll elastic. Any elastic will do really, but I do like the non-roll. So this is one package. It was about three or four dollars and I wrapped it around my waist and I'm cutting it off to be comfortably snug around my waist. Now I'm just going to do a little overlap like that and stitch back and forth. This elastic needs to be comfortably snug. It's actually easier to loosen it up a bit with a zigzag top stitch than it is to tighten it up. Once it's sewn in, it's hard to tighten it up. Okay, nice and strong like that. And now I wanna quarter mark the elastic. So I'm folding it in half. The seam is going to be the center back. There's the center front. Put center front to center back to mark the two midpoints. And I also want to quarter mark the skirt. There's one side seam and the other. So I just wanna bring those two side seams together so that I can mark the center front and center back. Good. So now I'm putting the elastic around that top edge on the outside, on the right side of the fabric, matching up the center back to the center back of the skirt. And the skirt, I don't think it really has a front and a back at this point. The side seam to side seam, front to front, and side to side. Okay. Okay, so each section of the elastic has to stretch a little bit so that it fits its section, okay? So I'm gonna grab both pins, stretch it out, grab the middle and pin. Okay, back to the machine. And I will start sewing at that center back overlap of the elastic. I'm just gonna start with a regular back tack. Okay, and then once my back tack is complete, I'm gonna hold behind and I'm gonna hold the pin and I'm gonna stretch. And I'm making sure that my edges are together and I'm just running the edge of my presser foot along the edge of the elastic. This hand is gonna be pulling, if I see that edge coming out too much, 
I'll be able to pull it over with the heel of that hand. So yep, this is the elastic going onto the outside of the skirt. After you get the elastic sewn to the skirt on the first go around, try it on and make sure that elastic is snug enough because it'll be really, really hard to tighten it up later. And now I'm gonna turn that elastic out and then in to the inside of the skirt. I wanna have this wrap really nice and tight. I don't want it to get baggy like that. So I'll just start with my back tack. I'll be sewing at the bottom of the elastic now. I'll just start with my back tack and then organize all of this. So once I get it smooth up here, smooth that along here, nice tight wrap, and then I hold it in that stretched out position again and sew down at the bottom of the elastic. And I wanna make sure my bobbin is a good color because that's what's going to end up showing. So now I could stop right there, but I think I will do one more line of stitching just at the top edge, just to make that waistband look a little bit flatter. Oh, and I've increased my stitch length to 3.5. Otherwise the elastic can get kind of held in a stretched out position a little too much. I'm gonna go one more time just with my presser foot centered between those two lines of stitching. Okay, that's it. Right? Oh my goodness. Like I couldn't even have begun to zip up that skirt and it was touching the floor and both problems solved. Lickety split. And now I love this skirt. I love this whole outfit. This is the shirt that was a men's shirt and I tailored it to fit myself. So I'll link that video here if you want to check that one out. But this is a good outfit, right? I kind of like that. Like very almost school marm kind of look <laughs> like the librarian in the movie who takes off her glasses and lets down her hair and suddenly like va boom <laughs> I kind of like that this striped shirt with that pleated skirt I think the two are really good together and you know what if you don't like the look of the elastic band just put a, a belt on it which I think completes the look anyway so I'm down for that so that was a good one. I hope you enjoyed that. And until next time on Catherine Sews, you take care.